It's fine. My proposal is this. Anyone interested in coming and visiting Kerala could be a mm -hmm. volunteer rebuilding Kerala's education. Yeah. Yeah, so we can add this in the page on the Max Educator community saying that you can volunteer and come and come in person here if you want as a volunteer. So I think, yeah, let's add all this information and make it a really, like, you know, nice project. So so for the women of Wiki, you are connecting the classroom to talk with these women and then you are inviting the educators, if they want to volunteer, for the example, in their summer and come and visit you in person so they can um, mentor them, right? Exactly. And they will even be staying as guests of women of Piki, not even hotels or homestays. Okay. Last time when Tracy came in, she was my guest at my home. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can we can yeah. make that really clear that you will be guests and we will provide you accommodation, yes. like a basic accommodation. Um, yeah, so let, let's do it. Is this amazing? And I want a blog story for every single of these projects and the MaxUDU blog because, again, you're changing lives and we need to show that to the world. And let me help you. Like, help me by bringing them on back and I'll help you spread the word and get more volunteers to support your work. I really wish my Let's daughter... do that together this year. <laughs> I really wish my daughter had met you when she was there. Anyway. <laughs> I, I was on holidays and I tried to, um, I tried not to use my phone a lot uh, uh, uh. because, uh, yeah, I visited the Scandinavian country. So I went to Norway, I went to um, Sweden and then to Copenhagen, to Copenhagen uh -huh. uh, in so, um, Stockholm, uh, Oslo, Copenhagen. So I was not in the UK and I tried not to use my phone because my husband, I am like replying on emails and Skype and I'm trying to support everyone as much as I can. So I promised my husband not to use my Skype a lot. <laughs> so, because what happens is, I'll be honest, like the rest of the team is in the US. So in the evening when he's at home, I'm getting so many emails and, you know, people are texting on Skype or on Facebook. So I promised him that on holidays, I wouldn't use it a lot. So I tried. <laughs> okay, I I, I, yeah, that's why I did it like, Sorry I, for this. I, but yeah, when I, she visits again, is she, did she, I live in Birmingham. Did she visit Birmingham? She was all over UK because uh, the company was paying for it. So she was meeting my friends and families in different places. Anyway, no, yeah, I, so let's, I, yeah. I, I, I wish, yeah, I had seen that and I wish I was here. Um, but yeah, let's make it happen next week. I'd really love to meet her if she visits again, or if you visit. I so it will be great. And yeah, it, it will be great. And my story starts with the, the same pain you had. I bought my first computer in 1978. My X640 kilobyte with one floppy disk drive. But ever since I'm a computer trainer, and it was those were heady young days, and I, my wife decided she's the second wife, computer being the first. It's you know I love helping and supporting as much as I can, and you know it's I think it's because I'm a teacher and you are a teacher, and we we want to offer you know he's an engineer he doesn't get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So he, he's from a different background. Okay, so I'll send you the outline over email. Please do. Bye bye. Bye.